be here today to talk a lot about data centers, so talk a lot about what's going on in our, in our program there as so we the, the timing of the event particularly focused around the initiative or the Swedish government in January of this year announced the reduction in the energy tax. Uh, Forbes, Bloomberg, you know, in fact, the Forbes article recently has Sweden as number one best location for business. Oh, and we are so glad to get Forbes. Uh, recognition this in the last, uh, as Paul mentioned, uh, on best countries for doing business. Uh, talking about the energy tax, I want to point out the fact that when Sweden do things like this, it's for the long run. Uh, global competitive prices, as mentioned, you run a 10 megawatt data center in the UK. Savings will be almost 10 million euros if you run that data center in Sweden. 90% fossil free product mix in, mix in Sweden if you look at it as, as a whole. First of all, welcome to Ericsson and to our new campus. So we are up and running in three what we call the global ICT centers. For instance, the center we have outside Stockholm, it's a water cool. That water goes back into the city. We are up 22,000 houses in Stockholm with the spill water from, from, from the center. Actually, our need of power goes down, but also we have 90% reduction of CO2. So you know, I, I have to say that Sweden is uh, per capita probably one of the most educated populations you can have. Denmark and Sweden are really well connected and were one of the countries that, that really when fibers became available in the 80s and 90s, really, really built up. This is actually the map of one of the companies in Sweden, so you can see that they really have fibers really, really everywhere. Now there's really a race to connect every home in Sweden with fibers, and, and there's a number of companies who have a strategy to do that. And there's also a number of cities and energy companies in cities that is also trying to build these fiber networks. Sweden is the largest by far uh, market in the world. Uh, and this is a really low risk region, uh, solid power grid. Uh, we do have a uh, tier 3 solution in place, so we know that we never, never, never ever go down. That's really speaking for us. So if you, if you do a 10 megawatt investment, uh, you do it over 10 years, you actually save 100 million euros. It's a lot of money. I talked about the, the, the power being. Yeah. Interesting to see how. Um, the climate, the cost, um, and the ease of doing business is really uh, um, influencing data center demand in the Nordics and, uh, and the, the, the signs are very encouraging for data center demand. It's really a no-brainer uh, for a lot of the data center investments entering Sweden to choose the Nordics uh, over some of the more, I guess, popular and bigger markets uh, from a cost standpoint. Sweden is actually uh, a hidden jewel in a data center. Uh, so today I learned tremendous amount of value in addition to the incentive, but actually the assets, the country, the ease of use, uh, I sincerely recommend anybody citing a data center in EMEA should absolutely get to know the team and to learn more about the assets in Sweden as a country, what it actually can be offered. It was interesting to learn about the fact that the costs of data centers in Sweden is so competitive on a global basis. And also to learn about the emissions, the fact that the emissions are among the lowest in all of Europe, I don't think it's well known. The opportunity to be both very cost efficient from our the low electricity price and the, and the, the green electricity, uh, but also really contributing to, to lower the carbon footprint of this industry by taking care of the waste heat. We have the perfect package in Sweden. I think we have everything that's needed. We have the connectivity, we have the power, we have the availability of space and everything. So I, I would say the key takeaway from this is Sweden really is the place to put your data center. And I think that's been confirmed by many people here. I would say if there's a surprise, it's the heightened level of interest that uh, we're hitting the market here just at the right time with the right product. And uh, it's really resonating loud with the, the industry. I think it's been a very positive. And we also got a lot of comments and questions about staffing and competence, which I think is very relevant for, for, this, for this industry and for any country that wants to do this properly. And I think we're fairly well um, staffed to do that. But uh, as any country, we'll have to continue doing our utmost to deliver to this industry. So I think we're going on track there as well.